It's a closed fucking sure. room today. Jesus, Nick, move over, Nick. Damn no. it. Good. No. No. His, his, his foot's on my side. Jeez. You like it like that. Oh, we got a full house today, folks. We got Nicky T. Hello. We got Scotty. I don't believe in giraffes. We got Rusty of the Dusty. Yep. Yeah. And then we got Nick. Ding, 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 ding. Sorry, Nick, you don't really have a nickname right now. <laughs> we have two Nicks, so one, only one can get a nickname. All right. I'm the original. You, yeah, you are the original. The other's a clone, or maybe you're both clones, or one's a droid. We don't know. Nobody knows. All right. How is everybody doing? Fan, fucking tastic. Okay, good. I was like, no, uh, I love how we have a full first, house. So. We have a full house. No one was answering, just sitting there. Just, how's everyone doing? Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Dustin, I haven't talked to you in a while. How's it going, man? It's going, man. It's going. <laughs> it's going. Yeah, you, I, you know, you've been telling me how you want to play GA. Sucks for you. <laughs> and then we got Nikki G, who I've been talking to for some time. So I don't even, I'm not even gonna ask you. All I can say is, yeah, this is a big change last week when we had me and Scott. Now we got me and everybody. I don't like change. Change is scary. There's too many yeah, people. Hey, are you slapping up because what he says with his, with his little comps? Change, change, do, do, do. This to be perfectly asshole. honest, to be perfectly honest, I haven't read any of the comments, so no, I don't know who Slap Night is, but it just sounds kind of unpleasant. <laughs> well, it's when a mommy and a daddy get really bored in their marriage. Is that like Slap, uh, is that like Slack Tap Wednesday? Exactly. Alright, so, let's get into the top five, folks. The top five, brought to you by nothing at all. Alright, so. Oh, I love that brand. Yeah. Alright, so we, should we do USA, or should we do some here? America, hey, yes. Hey, yes, hey. Okay, two USAs, what about you two? USA. USA, okay, then it's no. Do now, boss. Who's up? Alright, so we'll talk about some of the new games that came out real quick, and even though I said top five, we'll start with, like, number six real quick. Uh, number six, Killzone Mercenaries for PS Vita has sold 19,000 units. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah. It's a kill game for the Vita. I mean, that for Vita sales, that's probably pretty good. Does Vita, Vita, Vita sucks? Would you ever play Killzone? Or no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so so simple. Just nah, no, nah, wouldn't touch it unless it's free. Better be free. Um, number five and number four, same fucking game makes life easy. Saints Row Four. Yeah. Oh wait, no. I know, I love how I said, uh, no, I totally got that wrong. That's not number five, number four. It's number five is Saints Row 4. I was looking at the Europe. Uh, you sneaky right. son of a bitch. Yeah, I know, like, USA. everyone says USA, and I'm like, nah, let's go with Europe anyways. Your votes don't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, number five is Saints Row 4. 65,000 copies sold for the Xbox 360 version alone. Um, That's I, also to, I kind of want to talk about real quick that came out the same t- week as Diablo, but has done shitty in sales, Rayman Legends. I like that game, shut up! That game, that game is <laughs> shitty, like, the only one that sold any copies from it, it seems like, was the uh, Wii U version. Barely scraping by with 20,000 copies. Oh, uh, come on, you didn't like me kicking your ass at soccer? Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, sir, I kicked your ass in hockey, that's weird. It's football and beat-up stick, call it the right fucking names. Like yes, but see, you know, in, in Rayman, half my goals are because you scored on yourself. So. <laughs> and the other half are because of foreigners. <laughs> oh, foreigners? Yeah. Well, in, to be fair, none of them are American in Rayman. So exactly. Basically, everyone who owns a Wii U bought this game for what it seems like, because all 8,000 people who own a Wii U are Rayman Legends now. Uh, <laughs> they probably get something for free for it. That was the Wii U hype train, did you know? <laughs> yeah, that was like... That's at least the Wii U I've seen on the top five in weeks. Actually, it's not even on the top five. It's in the number ten spot. Um, also, number seven is Total Ro- War 2. Ro- or Total War Rome 2. Yeah, that PC game. Uh, yeah, it's number seven. Dustin, did you talk about No. I don't know where you got that idea. I don't know. Oh, no, you said that's what it was. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, strategy game. Total War 2 came out. It, it did huge in Europe. It did too well. And number three and number four game... Hey, 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 buddy, Scott, Scott. Yeah, you want to put that game on pause? 
No. <laughs> Turn on your TV. That's all I'm asking. Okay. 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 Take okay. It da- hey, Scotty, Scotty, take it down a notch. Shut up your dog. Uh, shut up. He's way downstairs. I can't do anything about that. He's a member of the crew. <laughs> yeah, he's basically a member of the crew. He's been on more episodes than you have, sir. Grand Theft Auto isn't a member of the crew? Fuck you, people. Not yet. <laughs> um, yeah, number three, number four, Diablo 3. Whoop. Uh, yeah, great freaking game. Uh, part two, uh, part one's already out of bloody time. You guys enjoy. Uh, yeah, I know the audio's fucked up. Don't even mention it, Flap Nut. I heard- No! It's fucked up. So, Yeah. Because I use a different recording thing and recorded both audio with the audio of the things. I'm going to edit it. Let's be honest. I don't do that much. You know I don't do the editing. I know. That's why I said I don't do that much. <laughs> That's what keeps us a show raw and original, is we don't edit shit or it makes it lazy and cheap. Um, <laughs> number one. Let's number stick one. with raw and original. Yeah, raw and original sounds better. Number one and number two. Same game. What is it, folks? It did not come out this week. I will give you that. GTR 5? What? No, he just just said come out this I week. Just, Damn okay, it, man. This is from September 6th. So whatever came oh. prior to September 7th. Anybody, come on. Guesses, guesses, come on. There's four. Uh, so 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 no. Yes, you already got it. God damn it. It was Splinter Cell. Or not We all know that when it updates to GTA 5, that's going to be up there for a while. I mean, it, it, it made what, like over $800 million the first day it came out? We actually got a news yeah. saying the exact amount is made. The new one for today is actually over a million. Um, it's, it's probably going to break a billion faster than Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which was the fastest to break a billion in 10 days. So it's probably going to get in like later. seven days. Nick, yeah, well, like uh, I said, considering it hit 800 million in a day. All right, Dustin, you are, you just, we'll look right into our new stories. Dustin, you are Grand Theft Auto has generated a billion dollars in three days. Holy shit. Three days? Damn. Three days, <laughs> I yeah, guess seven. Black Ops 2. Yeah, Black Ops 2, it took 15 days to reach oh, a billion. 15. I don't know and shit. <laughs> it's okay, no, I, you, you knew I, I reached a billion. Yeah, real fast. Like, it did it in <coughs> three days. So, guess what? You know, this, this game did it. You know, people are going to now try to... Uh, developers are going to try to strive to beat the Grand Theft Auto. So, let me ask you this now, people. Are we going to see a bunch of Grand Theft Auto clones now again? Uh, you, you know, we've seen a bunch of modern military games... So now we just gotta see companies just trying to copy five. No, yeah, right. Think. But the thing is, they spent five years and like two hundred fifty million dollars making GTA Five. No, I don't think I many companies are gonna be able to really replicate it effectively. Uh, uh, come on, we all know military first-person shooters are always gonna sell. You slap the name Call of Duty Battlefield on the cover, and it's gonna sell. Yeah, and that is very true. And also, uh, the battle, the Call of Duties and stuff, they make that money every year. And they make it within a year. This, they, you know, us, they it took them five years to make it. So, you know, it's just kind of like, it took five years to reach the same money as Call of Duty. I mean, granted, it's still going to continue to make money, but so Call of Duty could still was on top. But I do agree with what else you said, Nick. We're basically, until we start hitting the, the, the fall season, where the you know, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, all shit. He gave it there for some time. Plus, also have the online nowadays. I mean, oh, you yeah. got that MMO all in which, you know, went free to play, so. Yeah. Did they finally get their uh, Call of Duty on, or not Call of Duty, yeah, GTA on? I am just like the console. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, well, at other news, we got a good news for people who are buying PS4. Uh, any game, yeah. like, if you buy Assassin's Creed 4, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, Watch Dogs, all coming out for the PS3. Um, it will take, you have to, you can only pay 10 bucks and you can get a copy of the PS4 copy for just 10 bucks more. That's, That's pretty cool. Yeah, well, or is it like an upgrade? You can upgrade for $10 more and you can get the PS4 copy. So. Okay. That's that is badass. Fun. If only I had a PS3, I was able so, to play. That means for me is if right. I get Assassin's Creed 4 or, you know, Watch Dogs. You know, how I only get those two. If I get those two games, <laughs> I'm upgrading for it because I won't be able to get a PS4 for some time because. Somebody dragged his feet. Um, yeah, I, maybe I'll just fall, I'll just you know what I'm gonna do to get his for it. Wait outside the stop for twelve year old holding his. Punch him in the skin, can take it. <laughs> <laughs> just just squat left it. I know. Life lesson, bitch. Come with an adult. Bam. <laughs> he just Grand F to me. I don't grab this. Yeah. A video game. Me do this. <laughs> Grand and right. a young bit to trust no one. <laughs> <laughs> the young boy to always bring someone bigger with him when he buys this expensive product. Oh my god. God damn that. Batman, Bane Origins. <laughs> I know. 
So you think you're working out with the PS4, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. That's how, and that's how I suggest you uh, forge your copies of it as well. I don't have PS4. So. I'm talking about a PS4. Fine. Fine, then that's go with me. Your, I know, go with Fury. No, no, I can sides on this match. But, yes, yes we're gonna War. be using Xbox One. Xbox One HDMI pass through will actually, it, it apparently supports any HDMI devices, which will include PS4. Okay, this doesn't mean you can play like your PS4 games on an Xbox One. No. This means, you know, because the Xbox One has the DR feature where you can record yourself playing video games, it became a as well. So if you want yourself playing, like, you know, Killzone Shadowfall, you can. You could record yourself playing that on your Xbox One Apple license. So, congratulations, uh, you know, Microsoft, you've given another excuse. You actually have an ex buy an Xbox you want to record your game. Seems mildly convoluted and retarded. <laughs> just work out, I got a PS4. I'm going to record myself on my Xbox One. <laughs> If you're rich enough to own both consoles, no that? shit, I'll fucking eight hundred dollars of it. I know. If you have money, my guess blow, is if you're rich enough wow. to own both consoles, you're rich enough to buy a quality in ca capture For like a hundred yeah, bucks. than the capture card I use. Yeah, but bundling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Honestly, they're just using HDMI cords. So I don't understand. Honestly, the whole thing with the DR thing is just a it's just a gimmick, anyways. So the entire Xbox really One is, is a gimmick. gimmick. Well, actually, any, both of them, what they, they're extra features, they're really just high, I mean, the only reason to get this new console is for better graphics in the new games. I mean, their other, their other things are just gimmicks, the, oh, the connect, or recording your content, or watching your friends play a video game, or jumping in a video game and playing for your friend, because apparently he sucks at all video games, and he doesn't want to play his own video games. See? I, that's how I... Would you like to continue no, that no, rant? rant? That was just me. Well, that was me proving to everybody. Take a breath, it man. It was me proving to everybody that I'm not on either one's side because I just dogged on both the gimmicks that I got going. Well, the funny thing the is game. that Xbox is already making excuses. Excuses. They're already making excuses on how it's not going to be as good on launch because they don't have all of the features. They're just like, well, with the Xbox 360. We have 10 years of innovation, 10 years of new inventions and new ideas, and with this one we're starting fresh, so we don't have any of that just yet, and not all of the features are going to be there. Oh, oh. Right? I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? Are you just going to like get rid of everything, considering it already looks like a fucking Windows 8 computer on the dashboard? It, uh, what they should have said is, we were dumbasses, didn't realize on how what P uh, Sony was going to do to us at E3 when we announced our price and then they announced theirs $100 cheaper... Yeah, fuck. So we're gonna make excuses because well, the Xbox 360 was also something brand fucking new and it beat the shit out of people. I'm also gonna make it look like the Arc. That's more. <laughs> I wish you see ours. <laughs> the VHS. Right. VHS yeah. <laughs> That'd be fucking. Fun. It tapes it on the head of like your computer. Oh, uh, and last news story I got. Oh, uh, wait, real quick before we start it, or before I say this one, Nikki G, do you have other news stories? Okay, <laughs> good. Um, because we're only like. Mm, we're only like 13 minutes into the show, so yeah, we better get other news stories here. Um, yeah, last news story I got is EA Games uh, Vice President Patrick Solderlund, Patrick had a crazy mm. fucking last name, Soderlund, uh, says publishers won't stop, uh, say the publisher won't stop until they dethrone Call of Duty from being leader in the first person shooter market. Basically, the whole article talks about how he. He says that, oh, yes, we're going to beat Call of Duty. We're going to beat them with Battlefield 4, and we're going to have yearly things. And we got Battlefield and Titanfall, and that's what's going to be beating Call of Duty, because Activision only has Call of Duty. <laughs> and that's what he, that, and then he even says, folks, for people who are thinking, like, my first thought when I read the story was, well, he dipshit, you also got Medal of Honor, which just sucks every edition you make. Well, they, they're not making Medal of Honors anymore. That, they're done. They, they said, after Medal of Honor took its rotation in Medal of Honor Warfare, basically it sold shit. Because everyone knew what the last one did. And guess what? I played that Medal of Honor. It kind of shitty. So they're sticking with Battle. We got the Battlefield people who are like, oh yeah, Battlefield. And then we got our Call of Duty people. Uh, and then Call people somewhere in the middle. Yeah, and then yeah, we play both. We're like, eh, and then different. Well, the funny part about Medal of Honor, though, a lot of people got in fucking trouble for Medal of Honor because people who took out Osama Bin Laden, they, uh, <laughs> They gave operational secrets to the game's makers, and yet it still sucked. Did they? 
I know. I was about to say, I didn't notice anything that looked cool and awesome. I noticed that it kind of played like the last game, except for they tried to have... They, I, I'll admit, and with the Medal of Honor series, the first Medal of Honor came out... Or not the first, but the first modern one that came out in 2010. That was, that was shit. That was a shit storm on a piece of cracker. Um, Medal of Honor Warfire at least tried to have story. It was a little bit better. Still not good. But then again, I say the exact same thing to Battlefield 3, where I'm like, well, that wasn't that good either. I mean, yeah, ooh, you have online, so does Call of Duty, but Call of Duty also has a good story with it, so... Yeah, the Battlefield story was kind of shit. It, no, it was, no, Nick, it was shit. That was a <laughs> shit sandwich, and it was certainly cold. Like, that was terrible. It's the only way to eat a shit sandwich. <laughs> You're a turd sandwich. I don't know, it is kind of certain that to the point where you want a turd sandwich or a douche. Um, mm, All right, Nikki G, we got <laughs> your story. These guys getting a weird point. No, I think it's already surpassed the weird point by now. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's where I like to be. That's my comfort zone. That's your comfort zone. Just being weird. Weird and uncomfortable. Like a fairy wish prince. <laughs> I was about to say. I was about to say like making people pinch your bottom. Three times. <laughs> you only do three, right. puss. God's like, I'm not going to pinch you, boy. Yes, I'll take me. a grab. They pinch my bottom three times and I will grant them any wish they want. I tried that with a hooker once and it didn't work out too well. Nikki G, go. Go. <laughs> now. Just go. Right now. Right now. They keep talking about Janice. Go. Well, anyways, with, you know, the big cells and the Auto, there's actually been a petition going around on, you know, change.org to bring the bring it to the PC. So far in the last three days, it's probably, it's gotten, uh, over a hundred thousand signatures, which adds a total of, uh, 450,000 signatures. So, I mean, as you can imagine, uh, do you guys think Rockstar would go for it? I doubt it. No, I don't. I think they're gonna be like, yeah, we've made enough money, we don't need to please everybody. Well, no, like, what I think the problem with DC games is, people can mod the living shit out of your game. And I like. I think that Rockstar is some of the people who just want their game to be played as their game. Uh, have you seen the GTA 4 mods? Yeah, I have. They're pretty fucking cool, but with this one, it seems like they put too much time and effort into it to make modding allowable for it. Yeah. Considering it's know, bigger mean, than, like, every game they've ever made together. It, well... I, I don't know, dude. I fucking, um, Red Dead was pretty fucking big. Granted, it probably yeah, felt that big because you were on a horse going like 10 miles an hour. If you look at the desert, though, it's pretty much the same size as Red Dead. Wait, is that because we're going to the next right now? Um, yeah. it did stop, so everything you guys just said stopped. Uh, you son of a bitch. No, I, I walk out and it stopped, so I don't know where you guys left off. <laughs> well, no, it's like... Just keep going. Just keep going. God damn it. Was that phone call really that important, Brandon? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> I take it you still on that phone call. Respect, motherfucker. <laughs> well, anyways, I guess we'll move on to the next. We'll move on to the next story. Yeah, Sony's going to be so that we don't have five minutes of listening to him grunt and moan. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I had to answer a phone call, folks, and the recording don't know that. Sh- shit is all messed up. So, I don't know, where, what have you guys been talking about? Uh, piracy so scorpions. Piracy scorpions, okay. Yep. And sex with babies. And, <laughs> is that seriously what you guys have been talking about this entire time? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I well, agree this much then, folks. I don't really know when it stopped because this goddamn thing apparently it hit the twenty minutes right when I was out- outside of my room for like a half a second. Oh goddamn it! So, all right, Nicky G, what other yeah. shit you got going on? Okay, guess so we'll, we'll have to set off those plans to roam the countryside killing hookers with spoons for another time. Then <laughs> I really missed something here. Jesus, I leave the room for like five minutes, and this is what happens. That's okay. Now the audience won't really get to know what you know. I know. Well, maybe. I don't know when it stopped. I really have no idea when it stopped, so... They might know everything. 
<laughs> so I guess we'll just move on to the next story anyways. But uh, So he's going to be aiming to sell 5 million cons- PS4 consoles by March. 5 million PS consoles. Well, they're probably going to be have a really good chance of doing that, being that everyone who does not have one, like you, me, Nick, maybe Dustin, I don't really know where he's on the fence on that. Uh, Dustin, what are you getting? Do you know? Uh, I want to spend money on that, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll decide later. He's I'll like, make I'm a poor decision at one point and just <laughs> buy one of them and say, fuck it. But I don't know which one yet. <laughs> Dustin, you need to go backwards. Like, you know what? I'm going to get the Atari 2600. That's what I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to upgrade to a Dreamcast. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah dude, go, go all the way. Go fucking Virtual Boy. <laughs> the Virtual Boy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm going to get one of those. I hear their graphics on those things are awesome. Um, I'm going to go back even further. I'm going to get some pen and paper. Pen and paper. That's not going oh, back. Oh, Jesus. That still exists. No, no, no. no. Game wise, that's still pretty old. You got, you got to go real old school and tie some scorpions to a rope and play uh, with rocks. I, I, why yes, you just go man's old? first video game. You've seen that too. <laughs> I don't know. We could just go real, really old school and just have gladiatorial combat. I mean, that's like a. I mean, would they protest against that? Is that corrupting us? Watching actual human beings slaughter each other inside a ring and make him, you know, having them. Well, it's like. You know, I saw something the other day talking about, you know, like, violence in video games, like, some news thing. Violence in video games is bad, but there's also violence in movies, and, and on TV, and, and real life, and the news. The news is full of violence. It actually is. Uh, I want to, if I ever got arrested for doing something horrible, like, oh, you ran down six people, Brandon, because they cut you off. The news made me do it. I watched the news. <laughs> if you get rid of the news, that's what's corrupting us. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we need to do. But Or you could tell that you just say Honey Boo Boo made you do it. Oh, oh. No shit. No, that's if I ran down Honey Boo Boo. Why'd you run over that little girl? Because her show is awful. The better question is, why the hell did she dent my bumper? (laughs) The better (laughs) question is, why didn't you do it before me? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, uh, so, is that, uh, so, Nick, Nicky G, they're just trying to sell five million P4s? Yeah, that's pretty much what they're just aiming for. Hmm, By Mark. They might be able to do it. I mean, might. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's it's impossible. That'd be like well, you saying, like, oh, GTA couldn't sell over a billion copies. <laughs> <laughs> billion well, co- that's a lot of copies. Considering how badly fucking P- Xbox One flopped at E3, I'm pretty sure it's it's fairly possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because only an idiot would get an Xbox One. Yeah, only a dumb motherfucker. Only the stupidest <laughs> sack of shit. <laughs> Worthless human beings. I like to spend more money for Kinects. I like Kinects. I can record myself dancing naked in front of Kinect. That's what I can do. Because, you know, you totally said you wanted to get one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I remember our conversations off camera, bitch. I remember that. (laughs) That's what Brandon was saying. He was totally saying that. I never said I wanted an Xbox One at all. I was saying, I was talking about getting the Wii U. (laughs) Yeah, I'm sure you fucking were. (laughs) With its six games. Seven, I think. Ooh, all seven. The Wonderful 101 came out the same week as GTA. And the whole time I'm thinking is like, you dumb son of a bitch, you really think that was going to beat that? Or even compare to it? Uh, Uh, It's just like an ant compared to the boot of GTA. Oh, shit. I'm just trying to figure out how long we've been going on now, because I have no idea. I think about 25 minutes. Yeah, 25 minutes. 26 now. Uh, So, because I'm a masochist who likes to try to keep this the same. Like, no, it has to be an hour. Um, anyways, uh, one more news story for us, Nikki G. Get us off with a good one. If it's a bad one, Oop. you're going to the mine. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I got one thing to say. Hold on. So I'm, I'm in GTA 4, and on this one mission, apparently police helicopters have full Why body scans. Why are you playing scans. 4? Wait, what? Why are you playing five. 4? Or 5, sorry. Um. The V. Yeah, the V one. <laughs> the <laughs> vagina E one. Um, anywho. Um. 
I'm in this police helicopter and I'm using a camera, but for some reason or another, the police in this game are so advanced that they have full body scanning capabilities to where it'll tell you their name, their like <laughs> birthday, and what the hell they've done as a criminal record. It's like the fuck is this? Are we in the future? We may. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, twist. Okay. All right, Nick G. Final news. Well, I guess I did too. It's also more of an announcement, but it's not crazy. Announcement? Ooh, who's the special <laughs> me? <laughs> it's me. It's me, I promise. What? Hey, fuck you. <laughs> All right, go, Nugget G. What do you got? Well, with the uh, EA's new CEO stepping down, we got a new emperor for the Death Star. I mean, for the company. As <laughs> 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 so, you know, we got Darth Andrew Wilson. Stepping up to the plate. <laughs> Sorry. I do my knuckle. <laughs> so, but yeah, so basically, just one ma- little small news thing. The bigger announcement that's going on is that Battlefield 4 multiplayer betas will be open to everyone. It's open beta. We'll start on uh, October 4th. Yay! We'll probably check it out. Oh, yeah. I mean, I played the. Uh, <laughs> Battlefield 3 open beta, and that was pretty fun. I think it lasted for quite a couple of weeks. It lasted a pretty long time before they all went offline, but yeah, this definitely is something I'll, I'll play for just to review it. If I have to review it myself, god damn it. Okay, Jesus. All right. Nick, don't worry. I'll, I'll do even a webcam of it, of just me playing the game and me sobbing uncontrollably because I keep getting killed. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Um, yeah, so. Yay! They're doing an open beta. I actually, I, God damn it, I kind of dragged my feet. I hope I could still get in a beta of, of the Dark Souls 2, because that'd be awesome. I think the only beta I've ever done was, uh, Gears 3. Gears 3. Oh yeah, you did do the beta. Didn't you get that for, what'd you do? I don't even know it. I think I, I pre, oh, I pre-ordered it. Bullet Storm or something? Oh no, yeah. You pre-ordered, yeah, that's. Oh shit! Pre- Sorry. Ordered Gears 3. <laughs> I fell out of my chair. How? <laughs> What do you be standing on your hind legs? Just ah. underpants gnomes. <laughs> yes, yes, the there. underpants gnomes. I was chasing them away from my underpants, and uh, I fell out of my chair. Oh, that's a good. It's so good uh, technically, I didn't fall out. I just I lost my balance for a second. Yeah, well, underpants gnomes are they are dastardly little bastards. So, so Brandon, you said hind legs. That infers that Nick also has front legs. Okay, shut up. <laughs> no, what, I got one front leg. I? I mean, I'm a tripod myself. I just don't go brag about it every day. Oh, I do. Really gets in touch with the late uh, ladies. Uh huh. Sure it does. I don't think we have any ladies that listen to the show, bud. So, uh, <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, well, a little. Th- this is a new thing, and I already know most of our answers is going to be with this question. It's going to be a new thing I'm going to do during the Bloody Screen podcast. Just the people who listen to our show, kind of like that whole thing. Oh, they're playing this. That's kind of cool. Maybe I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to go around the troll table of Skype and ask, you know, what have you been playing this week? So let's go with the two people already. I know. think we know the answer yeah, to right, that. Like I said, we're going to get with the t- uh, three of us that are we're all playing the same game. Uh, Scott's currently actually playing GTA V, so I'm not even going to ask him. Are you, that's okay. What you're um, I've been playing GTA V. Nick's been playing GTA V. So, Nick is playing GTA V. Yeah, okay, Nick is playing GTA V. <laughs> <laughs> See? We're all the same. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but Nikki G and Dustin are two different. All right, Nikki G, what have you been playing this week? Basically, if you see on the review, like right now, I just got to kind of finish playing the NHL, and then I'm playing Splinter Cell. Kind of late, but, you know, just having some fun with that. Just for shit. This is a good game, though. Basically. It is. That's a fantastic game. That's actually a game I gave an A, because I just I liked it a lot. I don't know why. Probably because it was a stealth I actually beat. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dustin, what have you been playing? I've been playing League of Legends. <laughs> okay. Oh, kicking ass, taking names, spend an hour just over your computer, just going like, "Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you." No, it's a fun game. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it's not fun. It's just you know typical multiplayer shit of cussing out the demoralizing your, your enemy opponents of saying you you suck on your mother's cunt. Uh, mm. What do you say? Mm-hmm. That? No, you just end the game and then you say GG. <laughs> <laughs> because why would we want to all be dicks? No, I understand. That. Because I, this is America, <laughs> goddammit. No, Brandon has a perfectly good vagina. Oh, yeah, years. America. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So. Because we're 
so and we're <laughs> I was about to say so inferior. We're so superior. We are. Don't you Because you know, we live on this landmass that's just like the other ones, but we're just simply better. I'm sorry. You know? Dustin, our landmass is completely different than Africa's. Because Texas toast, bitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a little. We don't have as many deserts, and we actually, you know... We, we have, have grass, they have grass. We have mountains, they have mountains. Australia has we have grass? trees, they have trees. I, I said Africa, not Australia. Oh, okay. Actually, they're not gifted with trees. America is the only place with goddamn trees. Goddamn <laughs> no. trees, yeah. Take that, South yeah. Superior, man. Like I said. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we- we got walking manatees. They got skeletons. I know. We, I know. They get skeletons. We have a bunch of fat people. Uh, you know, we have McDonald's at every corner of the street. They don't know what McDonald's is. You know, we have three. Period. We have three dollar gallons of milk. They have um. They get cows. maybe milk. <laughs> they get corpy goat's milk. Uh, you know. No, you see, they get a machete for fucking milk. They worry about their day if they're going to survive at the end of the day. We bitch about whether you know Ben Affleck's going to be Batman. So we have a black president. <laughs> and they have a black country. I know. I was yeah. like, they have a black dictator. In I mean, fact, I'm pretty. Yeah. I mean, he's more tan, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, Obama's just working on his tan the whole time. It's just like I'm not even black. I don't know what they. Can what do. is racist? <laughs> I know, honestly, they're races against each other. We're races against each other. We we see our differences are so different. All right, but. You guys want to talk to some of our fans? Not really. Not really, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. See ya. No. Um, first of all, this this he doesn't really have a question. He, Slotnut just kind of has his own thing. He just He's in his own little world. Basically, I'm pretty sure Slapnut's a troll. Yeah, he but... is. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, what, what did you do to the site? Change? Change? And who the fuck is Scott? I also, no big changes, <laughs> lie, and also still no big changes, <laughs> lies, lies. Um, okay, so there's a few things he's trying to adjust here. One, I changed the site a little bit so we could have all the things, and guess what? We're changing the site again! Yay! <laughs> um, and I'm going to leave the second part of that question just for fun, because that was fun. And still no big changes. I know a couple of shows we've been saying, we're having big changes. They're still on the way. No, we didn't say they're coming that soon, asshole. Cool your shit. Cool your shit. And who the fuck is Scott? Would you like to answer that question? Who am I? Who am I? I'm Scott. Hi. Yeah, that's Scott. Uh, if you were a real fan, Slutnut, you would go back to our earlier shows where there was actually a fellow named Scott. Different guy. Um, And you know, <laughs> he was just as weird as random and all that. So, I mean, that's who the fuck Scott is. He just, you know... He got let go from his Colombian overlord that, you know... I mean, who the hell... Re- <laughs> <laughs> Colombian overlord? Dude, I fucking come from Omicron per eight. Futurama uh, is dead. How is sad it, is that? I know, that makes so sad. Is it finally over? <laughs> yeah, the they finally episode. did the last episode. Uh, but, like normal, like normal, they actually left it open-ended so they could return if they wanted to. Well, I mean, yeah. that was like that, that's like one of the most canned shows I've ever seen. So. It's canceled like five Get times, success. I think. No. Thank God for fans. Uh, that's all I can say because the fans of that keep bringing it back. Like if uh, the Blade Screen Podcast got, canned. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even finish that. There's no yeah, you can... don't even talk about that, dude. That's like not even going to happen. There's like all three fans. I know we can't get canceled because the only person who can cancel it would be me. Pretty much. So basically, it's when I decide and to stop. And we, well, Weebly, yes. Yeah, if Weebly decides that they just they don't want me anymore, well, I'm sorry, your site only gets so many views. Goodbye. I'm afraid we have to put you down. <laughs> Time to go the way of old yellow, my friend. I'm afraid. I don't know why we're doing like a weird, uh, like the old yellow thing is supposed to be like a southern thing. Yet we're doing like British sophistication. Goodbye, sir. Because they're rich businessmen and they're going to kill us like a dog with a shotgun. Honestly, I almost want to believe Weebly is as poor as we are. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I really can't imagine they get that much money going in, especially since they're like, yeah, you can have a site, you don't need to pay us at all, really. No, you're fine. I mean, if you want your own domain, you can pay us, but we'll still have your site, make it public, and all that shit. <laughs> you just have to have Weebly in there. I'm cool with that. Um... Then we got a new person, or maybe a new person. I don't, I don't know. Are you new? Dead Space Fun? Uh, Dead Space Fun? 
with a bunch of dashes in between. Hmm? Are you new? Who are you? Are you Jason? Is that you? Jason? I miss Jason. You miss Jason, Nick? Dustin, you guys miss Jason. I miss Jason. Jason's pretty cool. He probably was eight, and then Scott <laughs> pissed him off last episode, and then I was like, <laughs> That's probably what happened. That's, I think that's what happened to Jason. The Scott pissed him off. They were saying, oh, Japanese people are stupid. And he's like, I'm Japanese. Now I'm done listening to you, you racist. What kind of fucking Asian is named Jason? <laughs> um, Jason Wang. Jason Wang. Jason Wang? I don't, the, the site doesn't require them to put an actual name in, so. I was gonna say, that's just a terrible porn name. What the hell are you talking Jason, about? I'm Jason Wang. I'm here to deliver your pizza. Oh, Jason. Anyways, Dead Space Fun. He has a good question, actually. In game companies like Bioware and... Uh, game companies like Bioware, such as Star Wars Old Republic and Mass Effect... Okay. Uh, the game company? Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, put it a little weird. Are you going to choose your character, good or bad? What path do you guys choose? The good guy or the asshole? Around the table, whoever... Uh, first person to shoot up an answer wins. Good guy. Good guy. All right, Nick, why do you pick the good guy? Because, uh, I mean, that's the way the character should be, and especially in game, in game like Mass Effect, uh-huh. you know, you're either a good guy or you're just a jackass. Or you're an innocent person, where you're just in the middle yeah. of the time and then that's just boring conversation. But, I, I mean, like, you know, even, like, people, you know, I, I'll, I'll usually do it where I'll play through as a good guy the first time, and then I'll go back through and be an asshole and see what's more fun. And I'll tell you, in Fable, being a bad guy is a lot more fun. Yeah. Um, Dustin, what do you usually choose? Good or bad? I usually choose the good good guy. Good guy. Any particular reason why? It makes my terrible soul feel a little better. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, like, walk up to a puppet and be like, you know what, I'm not going to kick you today. And then you're just like, that's the best part of my day. <laughs> and then at the very end, I just kill everyone. <laughs> okay. <Bye. laughs> um, First you their trust, then you burn their village. Hey, come on, everyone, get in the church. It's okay. I'm the good guy, remember? <laughs> Uh-oh, the door's not locked. <laughs> Have you ever seen a video of Vietnam? Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> that would be a cool game concept, though. As the game proceeds, you can gain allies, and at any time in the game, you can either just kill your allies or just do whatever to them. Oh, that'd be, that'd be intense. That has to be part of it. That... Uh... They have similar concepts in games where you, like, you align yourself with certain people and, like, occasionally if you pick the wrong one. I I remember doing a Dragon Age 2 where I actually did kill a couple of my allies because they disagreed with my end decision. decision. So I killed him. And I'm like, that's what happens. And, yeah, that's what happens. That's what I'll say. You're a monster! Yeah, I know. Uh, Got, what do you choose? Good or evil? I choose the guy who sits in, um, who sits in the bar and just looks at everybody. Oh, so you're the NPC. You don't choose either. Just like I'm just gonna play to play Skyrim like I'm supposed to, where I'm gonna family and just sit there and do the job. That is not how you play Skyrim. I know. <laughs> or you know, puts a table like, no, nope, I'm just uh, my quest is over. Sorry, Teresa, I'm done. I'm done. All. I'm just gonna be a blacksmith. Go to the bar and hammer. <laughs> I'm really you finished that sentence because first I thought you were just gonna say I'm just gonna be black. <laughs> I'm just gonna be black, and this is what black people, God, black people can't be the heroes of this story. <laughs> we, oh, I, I feel like we need to find another. We need to find other races of people to be on our show, so we don't get called insist. I mean, we have a Hawaiian, and we have a half Mexican, and that's all we have. We need some fucking diversity, people. <laughs> we, do. we do need a little bit more diversity. We need I have to be have sure. Get it off, Scott. All right, uh, Nikki G. Last, uh, what do you pick? Uh, good or evil? Uh, I'm neutral, but I mean, I, I just way more to the, towards the good side. Like, about? <laughs> well, I mean, look at this, like Red Dead Redemption. I you know I was a good guy for most of the story, but you know, and I, you know, I did some pretty bad stuff. <laughs> he, he's trying to say he tried to shoot children. <laughs> no, I tried, but. I won't let you kill him. See, what we don't know about Nikki G here is he and Red Dead, after the inevitable happens when he gets a character, he makes them into a huge racist. And you do get <laughs> rope in this game, people. If you're getting where I'm going at with this joke here, he find, he basically cleanses Red Dead. 
<laughs> you can see why it's like more fun to, uh... Whoa, Jesus. Everyone's Sorry. at once. <laughs> what you gotta do is you gotta go into a town, rope everybody up, tie them down, and then take all the women to the train tracks and watch them get run over by the train. <laughs> just have domino effect where it just splash, 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 splash. <laughs> what you need to do is... Oh, I know. I, me and Nikki G have had a talk about what we did at the end of the day, and we were both pretty fucked up, and I think you did the same thing, Nick. Kind of. What, kill, kill the ball, dude? Um, yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to talk about it without spoiling it. So. No one gives a shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, it, it's still within three years. I try to give it a five year. Okay, five let's just keep, available, so. are you talking about getting redemption? Yeah, when you get redemption. I, I see, I take a dark path to get redemption. Let's put it that way. We'll talk about it afterwards. Um, anyways. Uh, is there a particular reason why you choose that option there, Nick? Could you? Uh, I guess just I just sway towards the better side of morality and such, but you know, eventually, you know, I run to that one guy. I just can't allow to live. Yeah, I mean, see, well, let me put it this way: I, I, I usually, I used to be the good in games. I used to be thirty-two shooting like, no, we shall not shoot each other. Let's find an agreement. Uh, over the time, I've become bitter and pissed off. <laughs> Let me just say, I'm a murderous <laughs> asshole now. I'm just, you know what? Like, let's put it this way. Splitter Cell, if, I, if they gave me an option to kill you, I killed you. Uh, what was the other game I played recently where they gave me an option to kill everybody? Oh, Metro Last Light. They gave me an option like, oh, would you kill this person or just, you know, keep them alive? I'm fucking killing them. No, there are they're, they're no prisoners. You fuck me over, I kill you. I am the main character. And I, I when I play like a Mass Effect thing, uh, I'm not a pussy, so I do tend to pick the asshole option now. I'm kind of more of the dickwad, unless it's a, you know, nice little lady. Then I might be like, hey, hey, don't be hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Gareth, get oh. back in the car. Um, you, 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 you poor girl her. I do poor girl her. <laughs> Well, and they make you poor girl, poor girl, some of them. Because half of them are just sitting there like, I'm not good enough. So you're like, oh, now I gotta feel sympathy for you. Um, <laughs> yes. God damn it, biology. Yeah, I know. Damn it. Yeah, I do that just because I think Master, not Master Chief. Uh, God damn it, I always do that. Time. Master Chief! <laughs> Master Chief needs to get laid. <laughs> that too. Yeah, well, being that, the only he's had inside his head, poor time. And now she's gone. Yeah, she. Spoiler. <laughs> uh, game that came out last year. People have either Halo or they're not going to play Halo. Very true. I, that is an excellent point. But, you know, whatever. I don't care, really. Um, and I think that's about all our show we got for us today. Uh, if you would like to, you know, if you like the insanity and the overall rawness of this show and randomness of some of the people that we have on the show. Jesus Christ. Avocado. I really just do not want to... I, I have to listen to that middle part where I was gone and just see what kind of insane shit you guys... Like, Nikki G just has a news story. You guys are like, you know what's awesome? A butter toast. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> the, the time that you were gone, it's probably going to just cut off and sound fucking weird it's, anyway. It is going to cut off in the middle part. Like I said, I have no idea where it cut off because I fucking walked away. My, like my, computer has, uh, my computer has the best timing of being like, He's not paying attention. Where's your dedication? I have the most dedication out of all you fuckers. I don't want to hear it. Oh, really? Really? How many of us walked away to answer a phone call, huh? Really? How many of us <laughs> were playing GTA 5 during this recording? And how many uh, of us hung up on a telemarketer during this recording? Yeah, fuck you. I did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and how many of us are in every single goddamn thing that happens on this site? You can raise your hand on every single thing. Regardless. If I raised my hand right now, you wouldn't see it anyway, you dumbass. <laughs> I'm, I'm there in spirit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done here. We're done. Go to bloodyscreen.weebly.com so you can write in too, and we can we could probably have Scott make fun of you for some reason. Uh, um, Motherfucker! Uh, or you can make fun of Scott. That's even funnier. All right, that's it, everybody. Good night.